Welcome to the My Raggedy Herbs podcast. This podcast is for truth seekers, homesteaders, homemakers, and medicine makers who are eager to roll up their sleeves and learn how to make their relationship with God, their family, and their home their first priority. Now here's Lori Coates. Gardening can be quite overwhelming for beginners. For that matter, starting anything new can be intimidating. For each of us, there's a learning curve, and the best approach to take is just be an eager student. I know I can relate to what it's like when I start a new task that's set before me. It's exciting and sometimes scary all rolled into one. Even though Oklahoma is currently blanketed in snow, the time to begin our spring gardening is just a few short weeks away. So now is the time to be learning and preparing. If you are new to gardening, let me warn you that it's not always easy, but it's always worth it. If you're going to plant your first garden this year, I would like to suggest five vegetables that are super easy to grow. If you experience some success, I believe it will motivate you to keep going. Onions. Onions are a great thing to grow in your kitchen garden because they're a staple in most homes. In Zone 7, Central Oklahoma, the planting date for onions is February 14th. You don't have to have them in the ground on that exact date, but they are much sweeter if they go through a few frosts and even have some snow or ice on them while they're growing. You can purchase onions at local nurseries and bundles of small plants that are called sets. All you have to do is separate them and plant each tiny little onion in the ground. Carrots. Carrots are grown from seed and are planted in mid-March. There are many varieties that are suitable for our area, so have some fun and choose some different ones. They're also easy to grow in containers. Once they come up, take a little time to thin them out. When you thin out new plants, it means that you are pulling out seedlings that come up too close to each other, leaving only the strongest ones to mature. After thinning, carrots require little care. Potatoes. Many people avoid growing potatoes because they think they're difficult. Quite the opposite. This is a great crop because you can try varieties that you probably have never tasted before and that are packed full of flavor. Store-bought potatoes are one of the crops that are on the dirty dozen list for pesticide residue, so it's a great vegetable to grow for yourself. You can buy seed potatoes from nurseries and plant them around mid-March. Peppers. Peppers are super fun to grow and produce a lot of fruit for the size of plant they are. There are literally hundreds of varieties, so you can grow hot or sweet or both. They are heat-loving plants and do well just about anywhere you put them as long as they can receive a solid eight hours of sunlight per day. Get ready. You're in for a burst of color and flavor when they start fruiting. Beans. Beans are so underrated. If the only beans that you have ever eaten only come out of a can, then you are really missing out. They are probably the easiest vegetable of all to grow, and they provide delicious seasonal flavor and nutrition. Depending on your growing space, you can grow beans that have a bush nature, or go vertical by building a trellis and selecting beans with a climbing nature. We like growing different heirloom varieties that you can purchase at seedsavers.org. After trying a few new kinds of beans, you will never settle for store-bought again. Along my gardening journey, there have been many people who have encouraged and guided me and helped me be successful. The same is true with my spiritual journey. I have been blessed to have loving people teach me scripture, pray with me, and lead me in the way of truth. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 tells us to encourage one another and build each other up. Whether you are learning to garden or learning about Jesus, may you diligently lay your hand to the work that is before you and be blessed. The gardening information presented in this podcast is based on USDA Plant Hardiness Zone 7 for Central Oklahoma. Nothing in this podcast or on our website should be construed as medical advice. Consult your health care provider for your individual nutritional and medical needs. 
The information presented is based on our own research and is strictly that of the author and not necessarily those of any professional group or entity. For more information, please visit MyRaggedyHerbs.com.